Hey guys, Mitch from Big Commerce here, and in this video, I want to show you how you can spy on your competitors' keywords, traffic, and visitor demographics for free. So, if you've been doing SEO and marketing for a while, you probably know about the two sites I'm going to discuss in the video, but you know, if you're brand new, you might not. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the two websites. And then we're going to jump over to a recording on my Mac so I can show you how to use them. All right, so the first website is compete.com and the link's below if you can't read my writing, which I'm sure you can't. So next is an oldie but a goodie, it's still relevant, alexa.com. Again, the link's below. So let's start with compete.com. So if you go to compete.com in your browser now, you might want to pause the video and take a look. Basically, compete.com is a way for you to look at the traffic, uh, the keywords or the search keywords, and the demographics of the people going to your website or any website on the internet. You can compare websites to see graphs of traffic or visitor demographics and keywords. Um, you can look at reach. You can see how popular a particular website is in a country, you know, such as in just the US, just in the UK, etc. Um, so that's compete.com. Now compete gets all their data by buying it or renting it from internet providers. So they can track their log files and they can see where um, people go on the internet. Now they obviously don't have traffic for everyone in the world, but they have a large enough sample that it's thought to be accurate. And they get a lot of their data from uh, other third parties as well, sum it with their data, and then they have kind of the, the final data that they show on their website. So that's compete.com. Number two is alexa.com, which is now owned by Amazon. Um, you know, back in the day, Alexa was kind of the first compete. Um, Alexa came out, I think it was like 2002, maybe even earlier. Um, it was, the, sorry, let me explain the way Alexa works. So basically you have to install a toolbar or an add-on in Firefox or IE or whichever browser you use and it tracks the websites you go to and it sends that information back to Alexa. They compile the data and they do similar reports. Um, you can see traffic, demographics, reach, everything like that. But with Alexa, they give each website a number. So number one is Google. So number one means they get the most traffic in the world. Number two, I think at the moment, is Facebook. And then it goes all the way down from there. So you won't show up on Alexa or you won't have an Alexa rating unless you're a top 100,000 website in the world. So a good example is Big Commerce. I think we're on about 14,000 Alexa now. Uh, then you might look at someone, like I said, Facebook is number two. CNN would you know, probably be top 50. Um, TechCrunch, for example, is about 300, and then it kind of goes down. So the most popular site, number one, number two, number three, etc., down to um, you know the, the less popular sites that might rank at 50, 60, 70, 80, or 100 thousand. Now, keep in mind there are I'm assuming hundreds of millions of websites on the internet, millions at least. So it's only the top 100 thousand that Alexa tracks. So if you go to Alexa and search for your domain and you don't come up. That means your website isn't one of the top 100,000 in the world, which, you know, it's pretty easy to get into the top 100,000 if you've been online for, you know, two or three months and you're getting at least maybe two or three hundred visits a day. That's really all you need. So they are the two methods you can use, compete.com and Alexa. So I'll now jump onto my Mac, set up a recording there, and I'll show you briefly how they both work. Alrighty, now I am on compete.com. So you can see here, C O M P E T E.com. So let's assume in this example that I own and run shoes.com. So what I'm going to do, type in my domain here. Let's say I wanted to look at a competitor, so shoebuy.com. And let's say I also wanted to look at zappos.com. So I type in my domain with a few competitors click on compare and the first thing I see is the traffic chart for the last year so I can use that to look at how my competitors are doing relative to how I am you can see here shoes is in blue shoe buy in green and Zappos in orange so under here I can drill down and I can see top search terms 
for each domain. I can see top referral sites, which I can use for my SEO. I can see top tags, I can see traffic changes. Now if I drill into a particular website, let's say that I own choose.com again, so I can come down here and I can't see demographics on compete.com, but we can see them on Alexa, which I'll show you in a minute. I can see top keywords that people are using to get to my site, my search share, traffic over time, etc. So that's, uh, that was, sorry, that was compete.com. So on Alexa, let's say that I own shoes.com, type it in here, click on search, click my domain. So I can see reach, which is a measure of global internet users who visit, in this example, shoes.com. I want to click on traffic rank though and go, let's say, six months. Again, I can compare to, you know, shoebuy.com, zappos.com, any of my competitors, and I can see a chart there. But also down here, I can see how my domain, or in this example, shoes.com, ranks in different countries. So you can see it's most popular in the US. I can see where traffic goes when they come. I can see top search queries here. So what people are using to get to my domain. And if I click on here, then I can see a lot of different queries. I think it's a top 20 or top 30. Impact factor and query competition. These are how competitive the ads are being run against certain queries that I match for. So you can see that Echo Shoes is really popular in Google AdWords. It's ranking 100 in terms of uh, the query competition index so there's lots of ads being ran against that term you can see query popularity so where shoes.com in this example ranks out of a hundred and then also impact factor which shows where or which keywords are giving me significant organic traffic which means non-paid traffic so if you have the Alexa toolbar installed you can see a lot of other good stuff here as well so a really good way to get competitive intelligence on your competitors Again, you can click on audience, you can see age, gender, not only for your site but for competitors. You can see related links, so you might find some other competitors there. You can see your Alexa rank overall, how you rank in the countries you do business in. Clickstream, so where did users visit immediately before coming to a site and where did they go after as well. Again, all this info is free on Alexa.com. So that's pretty much an overview of Compete.com and Alexa.com. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.